distribution of the footballs and trophies which started on Thursday 22nd August 2024 with the Awiziru Sub-County, Okokoro Town Council, Kijomoro Sub-County, of Jotan Council and all of sub-county ended on Friday 23rd August 2024 with the Obiba sub-county, Agaitan Council and Olufe sub-county. The former LC5 chairman for Marta District Honorable Adripio Emmanuel, who is part of the people delivering these balls and trophies, said their major aim of donating these items is to organize a football tournament called Uhuru Cup whose finals at Paris levels will be played on the 9th of October, which is the independence date of Uganda. First, we have distributed the balls. It's not going to end there. The name of our candidate is called Okuru Nelson. On the 9th of this year, October, we are, we are well aware that we are going to celebrate our Independence Day, which Independence Day in Israel is called Uhuru. So since the name of our candidate is going to align with the, the Independence Day Uhuru, we are actually trying to organize the Uhuru Cup. It is a kind of distribution of balls which is going to make our, our children, our sons and daughters, our youth in a marital constituency to participate in a, a competition called the Uhuru Cup. A trained referee in Kijomaro sub-county, Mr. Adriko Maxwell, who doubles as the chairman of referees in Marsa district and also a member of Uganda Referees Association, blamed non-progress in sporting sector to lack of training for coaches and referees in Marsa district and the personal region at large. As referees, head, head of referees, we have challenges with the teams. One, the teams are not well equipped plain boot, uniform, and other plain equipment, like the balls, they are not enough. Two, we have a lot of headache in training them. We don't have coaches. We don't have qualified referees. These people are just hiring someone who knows little about the balls. They are not trained well. That's why we are not progressing. Honorable. Mungwe Choni Gilbert, the LC3 chairman for Cockerton Council, appealed to the youth to participate in sporting activities in order to reduce the risk of health diseases which come due to lack of physical exercises. So, Emily Amandari, I'm about the other in Ira, I'm about the early Monday, you guys, my younger, they are Palerka Kitachi, I'm about busy. And if Babini Rua, yeah, anyway, yes, we can look. In a statement which attracted hand claps and cheers, the Talia United Football Club captain, Mr. Drapari Matendo from Awiziru Sub County, castigated agents and coordinators of politicians for frustrating efforts of the Wanainji from lobbying for support from politicians concerning societal needs and challenges. <laughs> Mr. Uhuru Nelson, who donated the items, asked the youth to take football as talent identification venture, but not just as something for laser. <laughs> He advised the beneficiaries to also engage in socio-economic transformation activities as their immediate source of livelihood as they continue with sports practice and competitions. With sports not only becoming a laser activity but also a job, the organizers intend to use these tournaments in identifying young people talented in football playing so that they can proceed further with it. Osita Yusuf, West Nile Television, Alcaster.